this is just a short video on acquiring the ITM coordinates from the CAD survey file. Uh, we have started a project using the standard construction template and the first thing we will do is we will link in our CAD file. Make sure that we have all the required parameters set to what we want. It's going to be positioned by a manual, manually centering. Uh, the units are meters, we know that from the file itself. The orientation is to view, I'm going to place it at level zero. Once the file comes in, we're just going to manually place it approximately where we want the building um, to be in relation to our project center. As can be seen, once I have this done, um, we will now go and acquire the coordinates. Before we take the coordinates, um, it's a good idea to acquire Project North first or rotate the project to the uh, to Project North. Uh, you can see here from the orientation on the view itself that when I change from Project North north to North, um, it has no effect. So the first thing we'll do is we'll rotate the imported file to Project North. So select the file, rotate. We're just going to select our rotation point and then rotate it to Project North. We can see that once this is done, it still has no effect on changing Project North or, or to North um, when we flick between them in the view itself. It's at this point now that we'll acquire the coordinates from the imported CAD file. So we'll go to our Manage tab, use our coordinates and acquire the coordinates and select the required file. Once we that, do that, we can see that the CAD file has now rotated to True North because that's the orientation for the view. And then when we flick back to being Project North, we can see that the uh, project building is in the right location for our Project North. Once we have uh, acquired the coordinates from our linked CAD file, we now just need to ensure that our project base point is located correctly and uh, to this we select the project base point itself you can see that it's got its north south east west coordinates are correct we just need to put it in the right location in the in the project itself we will start by unclipping it and then moving it in this instance we are moving it to our survey point s5 which is on our CAD file and once we have it located there we can then repin it once we have done this in plan view, we then need to flick into one of our elevations so we can make sure that the project base point is reading uh, from the height that we require. We go into our survey, we can see in here now that we have our imported, our linked CAD file and that red line is the level of S5 and our levels at the moment are not showing correctly. So now we will go to our visibility graphic overrides to ensure that the project base point is turned on in this particular elevation. We can see now that it is down at level zero. So we want to do the same again. We want to select it. We want to unpin it and we want to move it. Up to the level at sorry, point S5 and then repin it. You can now see that the coordinates are reading correctly for us.